Hi, my name is Chris. This is my 1964 Volkswagen Microbus. I'm from Mahopac, New York. I've had the bus for about 25 years, and uh, I redid it within a couple of years of when I had gotten the car, and I like to keep it fairly stock. You take it up to Woodstock yeah, actually, at all? It's been to Woodstock a couple of times, yes. While I've had it, before I had it, who knows? This is the first time I'm here. There are so many diverse cars here, beautiful shape, beautiful stock cars, modified cars, and I'm really impressed with it. I'll definitely be back. It's a lot of fun. All right, uh, my name is John Newhall. I'm from Westtown, New York. The car here is a 1963 Plymouth Belvedere. It is um, a supercharged 440 with uh, Indy heads. It has the original push button transmission, although it's a reverse manual. You have to push the buttons to shift it. It runs two Holly 750 blower carbs uh, with the 871 blower. Has a fiberglass liftoff hood that I don't have with me today. Uh, it's set up as a pro street car. Um, it has been run at the track and the uh, time that it ran was around 10-3 in uh, Pennsylvania. I've had the car about five years. I found it in uh, Pennsylvania. Actually, I had looked at it for quite a while and uh, something happened in my life which made me wait a little while that I was able to track it down again. I bought it. I, I just like the, uh, the different uh, features of it. It's got an eight gallon fuel cell, which means I don't go very far without getting gas. I made sure I got every drop before I came up here today. <laughs> um, and uh, on most occasions, I carry a little gas. It has a full interior so that I can take my uh, kids with me in the back seat, uh, my wife with me. So that, that appealed to me, even though it had a roll cage, it did have a full interior. The car is for sale. Uh, I'm asking 35,000. It's got over 70 in it. So it's, it's not a bad price um, to have something unique, but still street driven. Um, and I try to drive it a lot. I've been coming here for probably about uh, a dozen years. It had been going on way before that. I just didn't know about it. Great turnout, wide selection of cars. Uh, the selection of cars are very well done. Uh, you're always seeing something different. Um, the club puts on a, a great show between the DJ and the, the events for the kids, bouncy houses. Hands down the, the best show, especially midweek. Very good. Okay, I'm Neil McMahon. I come from Mahopak, New York. This is my 26 Willys Overland 6. Model 92 two-door sedan, which happens to be one of three left in the uh, world that I know of. Between my appraisers and Haggerty Insurance, they did all the research for me. And um, I was looking for a Model A Ford, and this came along because it has the same sweeping lines. I've owned it for 22 years and uh, finished, finished restoring it back in 2001. Did all the paint work myself, all the chrome work myself. The only thing that was ever done was the short block was built for me. Everything else I did myself. Well, the exterior is a 1980 Cadillac Fire Mist Charcoal, which is a Baritz ordered color. Came in five shades. This happens to be the green blue shade. The black is a Mercedes Benz black, the blackest black you can get, 9900S made by DuPont. The interior is a Wineberry Velour interior, which they don't even make anymore, unfortunately. Probably have to go search in the warehouses to find some patches if I ever ripped it. It's got an M22 rock crusher in it, which all the hot riders like. It's all old school, old fashioned. 55 Chevrolet rear, 10 inch. Most of them were nine. 37, 35 Ford, uh, a 35 Chevrolet dropped axle, seven inch drop. Basically all Chevy running gear. Fiat brakes on it with BMW rotors. I don't know if I should even say that. It's a beautiful American car and I got two foreign parts on it. But you know the old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> so it stops beautifully. And it's actually a pretty underneath. It's all mirror finished stainless chrome under the floor of four boards of all, like a mirror underneath the car. The engine is a 383 Motown block, bored out. It's a copy of a, of a Chevrolet 350 naturally, but made by Mo Motown. Priority oiling. Scott Crank, Weisco Pistons, and a Competition Plus Roller Rockers. Putting out about 425 horse, and I've clocked 18 miles to the gallon at my best, considering not too bad for the horsepower. 
dual exhaust. And I kept and I kept the exhaust at one and three quarter inch. I can have the old fashioned popping sound. So when you downshift, it gives it the old brrrr, back and off sound. <laughs> We've been coming over here since they started when the entry fee was a dollar. What I like about it, God, you meet a lot of bunch of different people. You see a lot of different cars. You get to talk to people like yourself. Uh, you share information. And not sure you get to show off your work, especially if you did it yourself. I mean, I don't grudge anybody to pay somebody to do it because everybody doesn't have the talent. And I give them, I give them a that a boy if they can afford it. I was forced to do it myself because the paint job is about a $20,000 paint job. And uh, my buddy was going to do it for 10 and I told him, I said, gee, thanks. <laughs> so I did it myself. I'm John Stepo from North White Plains. I have a 65 Chevelle and I bought it because I had the same color and seat, the interior that I bought when I was a kid in 1965, brand new. So now I'm a little bit older, like 50 years, and I wanted to get the car back. And I found this on eBay and then I totally restored it. I took a, the frame, the body off the frame, did the frame all up, put all power brakes. Uh, I put a new engine. I've got the original engine with the numbers in my garage. This is a 327 Corvette engine. I'm going to put a 390 in it. I, I ordered it from GM. It's coming crated and all chromed. Everything will be chromed. So. I should have that and I'll be able to put it in over the winter. The interior is all brand new. Interior guy yeah. screwed me up by putting a second radio in. I told them to put the radio under the dash and cover it in material. And when I go to pick the car up, he cut it into the dashboard. So now I got two radios in the dashboard. So I bought a new dashboard and now I got to have it put down on the bottom and then a box to enclose it in leather. But that was the only thing that went wrong with the whole project. It took, it took two years to do this. Uh, Joe Viva from Millwood, New York. It's a 1932 Chevy with Cummings 12 valve and 95 Dodge truck. Um, Chop six inches, I built the frame, transmission, rear ends out of a 99 Suburban. Doesn't drag on the ground? No, it's got airbags and stuff. No, underneath there. Oh no, it'll come up, like maybe six inches or something. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen. You know, skin your knuckle shifting? No, it's automatic with overdrive. It's not bad. I gotta finish the interior, pinstripe the outside, put a windshield in it, I guess. Yeah, for now, safety glasses. You're going to paint it? No, just pinstripes, that's it. Hey, my name is Ted Pedicus. I have this 1966 Shelby. I had since 1999. And uh, it's one of my babies, I love it. I got a lot of work into it, many years, a lot of different things I changed. It's a lot of gold if you see on here. And it's gold plated, it's not, not fake either. I also put a lot of work into it. I put like three motors in this car and I'm happy with this one. And uh, I enjoy driving this car. I just did the seats over. Yeah, usually they're rolling pleated. I didn't like rolling pleated. Everybody have that. All my gauges look like antique clocks. Just the amount of cars that come down here. It's unbelievable how they can handle all these cars, you know? and all different kinds of cars and different people come from a lot of different places from upstate New York that come to this show and it's, it's really great it's really great I love it you know I have another car too but I won't bring it down I can only drive one car at a time 